Good morning. We have a processional gospel this morning. Five days before the Passover, the great crowd that had come to the festival heard that Jesus was coming to Jerusalem. So they took branches of palm trees and went out to meet him, shouting, Hosanna, blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord, the King of Israel. Jesus found a young donkey and sat on it, as it is written, do not be afraid, daughter of Zion. Look, your king is coming, sitting on a donkey's colt. His disciples did not understand these things at first. But when Jesus was glorified, then they remembered that these things had been written of him and had been done to him. Please rise for the opening hymn. <laughs> You may be seated, except the children. Come on up. Come on up. Great job marching with the palms on this Palm Sunday. Glad you could be here. 
Can you give me a J? J. Can you give me an E? E. Can you give me an S? S. Can you give me a U? U. Can you give me an S? S. What's that spell? Jesus. What's that spell? Jesus. What's that spell? Jesus. Yes, it's about Jesus today, isn't it? Riding on a donkey into Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. It's all about Jesus. Here's a little echo. You can help me out. Hail Jesus, you're my king. Hail Jesus, you're my king. You guys can help too. You are my everything. You are my everything. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. You are everywhere adored. You are everywhere adored. Hosanna to our king. Let our praises to him bring. Hail Jesus, you're my king. You are my everything. Yes, he rode into Jerusalem on a donkey because he was a humble king. He wanted to relate to everyone even people that weren't noticed or weren't famous. He wanted to relate to all of us. And then, of course, on Good Friday, they hung him on a cross to die for you and me and all the world. And then on Easter Sunday, the third day, guess what happened to Jesus? He did. He came right out of the grave and, and meant that anybody that dies will live forever because of Jesus' resurrection. And so today we say, thank you, Jesus. Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, for riding into Jerusalem on a donkey on Palm Sunday, for dying on the cross for all of us, and then on the Easter day, raising from the grave to be a sign of life forevermore. Bless these children and all of us here today to know how much you love us. In Jesus' name, and all God's kids said... Thanks, kid. One more time as you head back. Hail Jesus, you're my king. You are my everything. Hail Jesus, you're my Lord. You are everywhere adored. And the kids are getting some nice little... Easter, are you going to announce something now or later? Okay, very good. Okay, thanks to Kevin Prill for reading our lessons on this Palm Sunday. Our first lesson is from Isaiah. Chapter 50, verses 4 through 9. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens, wakens my ear to listen, as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me, and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me. Therefore, I have not been disgraced. Therefore, I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. He who vindicates me is near. Who will contend with me? Let us stand up together. Who are my adversaries? Let them confront me. It is the Lord God who helps me. Who will declare me guilty? Here ends the first reading. Our psalm today is Psalm 31, verses 9 through 16. We will read responsively by verse. Have mercy on me, O Lord, for I am in trouble. My eye is consumed with sorrow, and also my throat and my belly. For my life is wasted with grief, and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of affliction and my bones are consumed. I am the scorn of all my enemies, a disgrace to my neighbors, a dismay to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they avoid me. In the dead I am forgotten. Out of mind, I, 
I am as useless as a broken pot. For I have heard the whispering of the crowd. Fear is all around. They put their heads together against me. They plot to take my life. But as for me, I have trusted in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Rescue me from the hand of my enemies and from those who persecute me. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your Our second lesson is taken from Philippians chapter 2, verses 5 through 11. Let the same mind be in you that was in Christ Jesus, who, though he was in the form of God, did not regard equality with God as something to be exploited, but emptied himself, taking the form of a slave, being born in human likeness, and being found in human form, he humbled himself and became obedient to the point of death, even death on a cross. Therefore, God also highly exalted him and gave him the name that is above every name, so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bend in heaven and on earth and under the earth, and every tongue should confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. Oh 
Gospel according to John. The crowd answered him, We have heard from the law that the Messiah remains forever. How can you say that the Son of Man must be lifted up? Who is this Son of Man? Jesus said to them, The light is with you for a little longer. Walk while you have the light, so that the darkness may not overtake you. If you walk in the darkness, you do not know where you are going. While you have the light, believe in the light, so that you may become children of light. After Jesus had said this, he departed and hid from them. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Somebody's got to give a sermon today, right? <laughs> I, I guess that would be me. Daryl's going to cue up the music. He's working on it. So while he's working on it, uh, thanks for joining us today. Um, this is the beginning of the week we call Holy Week. Uh, tell us what's going on at noon today. Ooh, there's a lot going on today. Uh, First communion classes have been moved up because of Snowmageddon. Um, so that'll be at 11. And then we have the Seder meal starting at noon today. I also want to say on Good Friday of this week, we're having our Good Friday children's service. And this is good for families of all ages to come and hang out. Uh, we'll be learning a little bit more about Holy Week and the story of Easter. And we've got some fun crafts to do and a story to read. And we'll be doing that downstairs in the fellowship hall at 10 a.m. Good Friday morning. Thank you. Larry Norman writes in his song, Some say he was an outlaw, that he roamed across the land with a band of unschooled ruffians and a few old fishermen. Nobody knew where he came from or exactly what he'd done, but they said it must be something bad that kept him on the run. Some say he was a poet. He'd stand upon the hill and his voice could calm an angry crowd or make the waves stand still that he spoke in many parables that few could understand, but the people sat for hours just to listen to this man. Some say he was a sorcerer, a man of mystery. He walked on the water, he made the blind to see. He conjured wine at weddings and did tricks with fish and bread. He talked of being born again, and he raised people from the dead. Some say a politician who spoke of being free, he gathered with the masses on the shores of Galilee. He spoke out against corruption, and he bowed to no decree. But they feared his strength and power, so they nailed him to a tree. Some say he was the son of God, a man above all men, but he came to be a servant to set us free from sin. The suffering servant that Isaiah had written about hundreds of years before Jesus came riding into Jerusalem on a donkey. He had no majesty or beauty to look upon. When people saw him in the street, they would hide their faces from him. He was despised and rejected. He was wounded for our transgressions. By his stripes were healed. The punishment of us all was laid upon him. All we like sheep have gone astray. 
each to their own way. He was led like a lamb to the slaughter, and he opened not his mouth. This man of no reputation that Rick Elias sang about. A man of no reputation. He could calm a rising storm with the gesture of his hand. But he chose to use these hands to heal hearts of darkness, hearts of stone like mine would be revealed. He was a man of no reputation. By the wise considered a fool. He spoke about faith and forgiveness when the strongest arms ruled this man of no reputation who loved the weak with relentless affection and he loved the poor in spirit just as we were this man of no reputation who on Palm Sunday knew this was the beginning of the end his disciples had told him please don't go Jesus stay away stay away but no he knew his mission was to ride into that city that had stoned and killed the prophets before him. And he knew now he would be the one to be killed, to suffer, to die for the world. And before the, before the death, before the suffering, he would gather with his disciples for a last supper. That Palm Sunday, they were they were cheering, weren't they? Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And some of those same people, just a few days later, could be yelling at the top of their lungs, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him. A torturous death that Jesus would suffer for you, for me, and for the world. God's perfect son, God's perfect lamb offered for us. In the Garden of Gethsemane, the night before he died, Jesus asked his three disciples that were with him, Peter, James, and John, could you stay awake just for one hour? You ever been asked to do that for somebody? Can you just stay with me for one hour? And they don't? Like a family or a friend? They don't? Shh. It was said Jesus bled water and blood. His heart was broken. These same disciples who said, I'll never leave you, I'll never forsake you, they all deserted him at the cross. This human Jesus who cried human cries like, God, why have you forsaken me? Father, forgive them. They don't know what they're doing. Into your hands I commend my spirit. St. Paul wrote, Have this mind among yourselves, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Have this mind among yourselves, who though he was in the form of God, didn't count equality with God something to be grasped but emptied himself, took the form of a servant, and became obedient to death, death on the cross. Therefore God has highly exalted him so that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Some say he was a son of God, a man above all men, came to be a servant, to set us free from sin. That's who I believe he was. And that's what I believe. We should all be ready when it's our time to leave. Amen. And thanks to Samuel Barber for that hauntingly piece of beautiful music called the Adagio for Strings.
Let's confess our faith in the creed as we confess our faith in Jesus, God the Father, and the Holy Spirit. I believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth. I believe in Jesus Christ, God's only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended to the dead. On the third day, he rose again. He ascended into heaven. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Lord Jesus, we confess today it is by our sin that you were nailed to the cross. And we confess before you and one another today that we are sinners. We've broken your commandments. We've not always loved you with our whole heart and our neighbors as ourselves. So we pray you'll forgive us and renew us. And at the last, raise us to everlasting life. A free gift born of your love. Lord, in your mercy. Lord, bless this congregation and our partnership with Dover Church, your church throughout the world today, that on this Palm Sunday, we would truly sing praises to your name for the gift you bestowed upon us and all of creation. Lord, in your mercy. Hear the cries today of the poor and the hungry, the war-torn, the sick and the dying, the grieving and the depressed, the homeless, the refugee, all who call out for mercy, for grace and peace. And bless all the peacemakers today who stand in harm's way. We especially think of our brothers and sisters in Israel, Ukraine, other parts of the world where people cry out for peace and justice. Lord, in your mercy. Merciful Father, be with those we know to be ill and hospitalized, those facing and recovering from surgeries or undergoing treatments, those who are ill at home. We continue to pray for Lynn Trowbridge, Sue Millard, Bill Burnap, Gabe Valenzuela, Carolyn Cizik, and others we name before you in our hearts for strength and healing and wholeness. Lord, in your mercy. God of all comfort, be with those who mourn the loss of loved ones today. And we pause to remember all of our departed family members and friends who have left this earthly life. Keep us in union with them here through faith toward you, that in the hereafter, we may be rejoined with them to look upon your face in glory everlasting. Lord, in your mercy. As we join together in this holy week, Help us daily to be mindful of the great sacrifice you have made and help us by your grace to take up our cross and follow Jesus. In his name we pray, amen. At this time we'll receive our offerings, the noisy buckets, help our youth and family ministries.
let's rise as we're able to join in the auditory. Let us pray. Merciful Father, we offer with joy and thanksgiving what you've first given us, ourselves and our time, our possessions, signs of your gracious love. Receive them for the sake of him who offered himself for us in the world, your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, who in his last supper in the night in which he was betrayed, took the bread, gave thanks and broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take and eat. This is my body given for you. Do this in the remembrance of me. And then after supper, he took the cup, gave thanks and gave it for all to drink, saying, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, shed for you and for all people for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in the remembrance of me. For Christ has died. Christ is risen. Christ will come again for you and me. And let us pray, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. All are invited to the Lord's table today where you can stand or kneel, receive the elements of the communion. There's gluten-free wafers in the bread tray. There's apple juice in the center of the wine tray. Please be seated. Communion stewards, please come forward.
Let us pray. We thank you, almighty God, for this healing gift of life, the body and blood of your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord, to heal and forgive us, to strengthen us and keep us in your grace, and at the last, bring us to everlasting life. Lord, bless us and keep us. Make your face shine on us and be gracious to us. Lord, look upon us with favor and give us in all the world your peace. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please sign with me. I'm a child of God. I'm loved by God, and I'm not alone. We want to say welcome to our guests and visitors today. If you're a first-time visitor, there's a little red bag for visitors. Please pick one up. We also welcome, welcome those streaming online and dialing in. Thanks to Daryl for getting us on the World Wide Web. Thanks to all who helped with the service. There's coffee and goodies downstairs following worship. Uh, Kevin, is there adults Bible study? If anyone wants to, yeah. That'll be down in the office wing. As Katie mentioned, there's a noon Seder meal. People are welcome to come. Yeah, we actually have the, the roasted lamb and the flatbread, everything there. So noon, uh, right here. And then uh, Holy Week, as uh, we heard a little bit, we have Monday, Thursday services at 3 and 7. 7 o'clock will be First Communion. Uh, Good Friday, 3 o'clock here. And then 7 o'clock will be a drama at the United Methodist Church. Easter morning, 7 to 9 a.m. breakfast, served by the guys and some gals. And then worship at 7.30 and 9. Sandy Gunderson has got an announcement or two. Or three. Okay, uh, we ladies, we Lutheran ladies can't have all work here and no fun. So we have planned an outing for the ladies. Uh, Thursday, April 11th, Hot Dish on the Range. It's starring the Looney Lutherans at the Heidi Center in Chippewa Falls. And we'll carpool from the parking lot at about no later than 10.45 and have lunch at the Chippewa Family Restaurant, and then go to Heidi Center. The cost is $17 for seniors, and so we're having lunch out instead of lunch at the Heidi Center. That gets a little more pricey. So if you would like to go to the April 11th one, let me know so I can order tickets this week, um, and you don't have to pay till later. Then we have a second opportunity on May 14th, and that's Ole and Lena's family reunion on the farm. And in the book it says, nobody told them about it first. <laughs> so that ought to be fun too, and that'll be in May. So there's extra papers for the information back there on the stand where you sign your name in. So if you want to take a paper to read and look at, they're there. Thank you. You mean girls just want to have fun? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> so do the guys. But the guys will plan something, too. OK, kids, come on up. And Rita, we're going to, I've got to get the kids a little slower tempo for the tambourine. So <laughs> give us your tempo for the song. Just a quick update on. Yes. Tony, the prayer. Circle. Prayer circle. Prayer circle. Thank yes, you. Yes. Just wanted to give a quick update. The books have been ordered, so they should be in any time. Um, there were a couple people that talked about the 6 o'clock Tuesday time did not work. So I would like to offer another time, and we could, we've actually had 15 people sign up. Yes, praise God. Yes, yes. Um, and I ordered 20 books, so there's still room for a couple people to add in there so we could easily break into two groups. So I will be texting a group text out to all of the numbers that I have. My number is a 515 number. It's from Iowa, so look for that. It's not junk or not a solicitor trying to get something. Um, so I will text out to the group. And then if you could offer another time back outside that Tuesday, that would work for another group, that would be great. I work every day at the school from 9 to 1, so it would have to be after 1, like 1 between 1 and 5 or something, or 3. I think, I think we need to go earlier, like in the afternoon. So please be looking for that, and thank you all who signed up. I'm so excited about this. Thank you. Thanks for leading that ministry. 
Okay, kids, we're going to come on up and follow my tempo. Lita's going to give us an intro. Go in peace, serve Jesus.